Inequalities involving absolute value. A student needs to remember the rules for solving absolute value inequalities. We're going to solve the inequality, the absolute value of 4x minus 1 less than or equal to 9. If the absolute value of u is less than or equal to a, u is largely between negative a and a. Less is a nest. Therefore, 4x minus 1 is largely between negative 9 and 9. We're going to add 1 to all three sides. And negative 8 is less than or equal to 4x, less than or equal to 10. In order to isolate x, we're going to divide all three sides by 4. We obtain negative 2 is less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 5 over 2 when we reduce 10 fourths. Now, on the number line, at negative 2, we're going to have an open bracket. And at 5 half, a closed bracket, and tick the values in between. The interval notation of the solution set will be open bracket at negative 2 and close bracket at 5 halves. The absolute value of 3x plus 3 is less than 6. Less is an S. So 3x plus 3 will be largely between negative 6 and 6. We're going to subtract 3 from all three sides. And negative 6 minus 3 is negative 9. Less than or equal to 3x. Less than or equal to 6 minus 3 is 3. We divide all three sides by 3 to isolate to isolate x. Negative 3 less than or equal to x. Less than or equal to 1. On the number line. At negative 3, we're going to have an open bracket. And at 1, a closed bracket. And we take all the values in between. The solution set in interval notation is open brackets at negative 3 and closed bracket at 1. Following the same techniques, the student should be able to solve 1 and 2 easily. If u is greater than or equal to a, then u is less than or equal to negative a, or u greater than or equal to a. More is or. The absolute value of 2x minus 8 is greater than or equal to 4. The two cases are either u is less than or equal to negative a, therefore 2x minus 8 less than or equal to negative 4, or u greater than a, therefore 2x minus 8 is greater than or equal to 4. 2x minus 8, of course, represents u. Now we're going to add 8 to both sides. And 2x is less than or equal to 4. And we're going to divide by 2. x is less than or equal to 2. 2x minus 8 greater than or equal to 4. 
we add it to both sides 2x is greater than or equal to 12 then after we divide both sides by 2 x is greater than or equal to 6 now we have x less than or equal to 2 or x greater than or equal to 6 on the number line at 2 we're going to have a close bracket and take all the values to the left of 2 because 2 is included we'll have an, a close bracket and then at 6 open bracket and we'll take all the values that are greater than 6 in interval notation the solution is going to be f from negative infinity open parenthesis at negative infinity comma close bracket at 2 union open bracket at 6 from 6 to positive infinity close bracket at positive infinity <laughs>